Hello, this is Kev here from LifeSuccessEngineer.com and in this video, we're gonna be answering the first question of the Q4 Q&A, which is going to be, what are your biggest tips for your first Q4? So if you're in online arbitrage and this is your first ever Q4, then that's an exciting, a super, super exciting time. And I'm gonna answer that question for you after, this is now my fourth Q4 at the time of this recording. So I've learned a little bit over the last few years and I wanna give you the, the best advice that I've got. Okay, so this is, this, this gonna cover a number of things here. Number one, Q4 is, first of all, super, super exciting. You're gonna absolutely love the fact that this is your first Q4 because it goes crazy. More deals than ever on all stores that you're sourcing from. There's more offers, there's more availability, there's more deals to, to source. There's sales are bigger and higher than ever before. I'm sure you're gonna have multiple record days because it's super, super exciting, but, there's got to be some questions in there, you know, there's got to be some, there's obviously some like, what do I do, what to expect? And the first and foremost is probably one of the most important things is to make sure that you're in the game. Make sure that you've got your products at Amazon, sell, ready selling. Don't leave it too late, okay? The Q4 from October, November to December, it, there's, there's, a, there's been a sort of a gradual increase all year and now there's gonna be sort of an exponential increase and it's gonna peak around about, there's Black Friday, then there is uh, sort of the, the beginning of December to sort of uh, the 10th of December. It's all gonna be crazy peaked at that point, which means you need to get your products there as quickly as possible, okay? You need to have your products in there because what you don't wanna do is wait to ship mid-November because everything gets busier at Amazon as well. If you imagine everybody is busier, which means that they may take longer to, to bring in your stock. That it might take um, some time, much, much longer to, to receive your inventory, okay? So that's super, super important. Get your products there. You wanna start that immediately. At the time of this recording, beginning of September, you wanna be starting this now. You wanna get your products in there. You wanna start shipping them now. You wanna start increasing your quantities now. Super, super important. We're gonna be talking about quantities, etc. In in, in 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 another question. But another tip, that's the biggest tip. Get in the game. You gotta make sure that your products are there. Also, what I would say is you need to make sure that um, Try to be as organized as possible. Now, I know that's easier said than done, but one of my biggest tips, like when I first started back in 2015, we were working all day, every day, and then at night, we were packing. We were packing and the, the house was an absolute mess. It was, it, was, it was crazy. We had bubble wrap, we had boxes, we had toys, we had, we had absolutely everywhere. And my biggest probably advice to myself back then would be, Try getting yourself organized the best you can. And I know you may have limited space, but try getting yourself like locations of, okay, this is the shipping area, this is the unpacking area, just to get organization of your, your product processing, because that's super, super important. Whether you're packaging yourself or not, the whole system, the whole flow of product processing is super, super important. So what I did fundamentally to organize myself is I created master spreadsheets. So I have my live purchasing spreadsheet, I have my sourcing management spreadsheet, I've got my pre-purchase, and I've got a, a full playlist that shares demos on all these. But make sure that you look into all these because you've got to set your columns up right to streamline the entire system to get it there. Okay, because if you try being as organized foundationally as possible, and you can't get any more than that with your working space and sort of your, your, your spreadsheets, because that's gonna help you massively for Q4 when you, you've got so many things to do. I would also recommend, um, I guess the, the third tip is, try getting some help. Um, try getting a spouse, get your family around, get everybody around to help. I had Kylie, I had my son Theo, we were all packaging, we were doing everything. So more, more help the better. Another thing is UPS. Okay, UPS, you gotta try, if, whoever you're shipping with, try building a relationship with UPS. Okay, UPS is really, really critical for your business. At Christmas time, what happens is, you end up getting an influx of uh, everybody shipping via UPS, and I've had it before where they've come and they says they can't pick anything up because they've, 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 they're full. 
which is a problem to you. So you've got to start building this relationship. How are you doing? How's things? Um, you know, get to know your driver a little bit. Get to just help him. Put stuff on the, the, the van. Get to know his life. Get to know him. Make friends because what will happen is you'll get his mobile. You'll be able to text him. Oh, are you still coming today? You know, because these are the things that happen. It's real life. You know, what time are you coming? I'm going to be a little bit later. Could you come a little bit later as well? Is that okay? And all these things really, really do help when it's sort of your first Q4 and you, you're just making the, the sort of uh, the, the, the first leap, I guess. Um, another thing I would say is uh, there's a big cliff. Okay, there's a big cliff. So round about the, the 21st, 22nd, 23rd, you're going to get an experience where there's a cliff on Amazon where the demand just drops. People should rush out to the, 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 the um, they rush out to the, the physical stores because they've left it too late, which means don't get caught too short. Like stop shipping with plenty of time. And um, well, we stop purchasing for Christmas and we stop shipping them for, for Christmas and we kick off then back in sort of early January. So this has just been the first question, tips. They're my best tips, I guess. Um, I'd love to know anybody else who's got any contributions to this. Um, if you are interested, get yourself into the, the, the free online arbitrage mastery uh, group, uh, the Facebook group throughout Q4, as well as the free course. There's going to be a link in the description below. And um, yeah, we'll get in over to uh, question two of the, the Q4 Q&A, which will, should pop up around here eventually. And um, please hit that subscribe button for more. Take care and I'll speak to you in the second question.